Fresh Kid C, Fresh Kid C, yes, sir. Fresh Kid P, Fresh Kid T. Oh yeah, we back. Oh, and Zafoon, by the way. Yeah, Jones. <laughs> yeah. Chitty Bang, and we pretty much amazing. Hey YouTube, what's up? Macman here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a cool background like mine. Um, I made this in Pixelmator. Um, this is kind of like Photoshop. I have a uh, video on how to download this. Um, it's safe and free, so go check that out if you don't have it. Um, so yeah, let's jump right into it. So I'm just going to open up Pixelmator, and then hit File, New. Uh, yours might say, um, create a new project. Just hit create new project um you're gonna want to make your width 1920 that's 1920 and your height 1200 um next you're um going to hit okay just leave the resolution at 72 um and then you are going to want to make your background um color black so over to the left side click this um little square Make it black. And then make sure your tool bucket tool is selected and just click and it will turn black. Um, next, name your layer by double clicking it and just call it background. Okay, after that, you are going to want to make a new layer. So hit this plus sign right here. And then you're going to hit filter. Then go down to quartz, composer, and then generator. And then defocus. Click that. And then these bars are going to pop up. Try to get your bars exactly like mine. Um, it will just make it look a bit better. And don't worry, this is not going to be what the final is. This involves quite a few steps. Um, so yeah, once you got something like this, um, I'll just leave it on there for a second. Or you can copy my numbers. Um, hit OK. Uh, and then after you're done that, you're going to want to right click on that layer. Actually, first I'm actually just going to call it primary circles. Hit enter. Then you're going to want to right click on that and duplicate it. Uh, once you duplicate it, select the copied layer and go here to blending options and hit color dodge. Okay, that creates a nice effect. Um, next, you're going to want to create some small circles, so add a new layer by clicking this plus sign. I'm just going to name it Small Circles. Okay, then down here for blending options, you're going to want to hit Screen, okay? Make sure you do that. And then you're going to want to go to Filter again, Quartz Composer, Generator, Defocus. Once you do that, um, there's these bars going to pop up again. Um, just try to follow mine. Um, time doesn't really matter. Density doesn't matter. You can do that yourself. It just kind of puts how many circles are on the screen. Um, so I'm just going to do this very quickly. Blur. Make sure it's either 0 0.1 or just 0. I'll leave it at 0. And uh, just do any of those random ones and then hit OK. Next, you're going to want to create another layer, and I'm going to name this one Medium Circles. Okay, once you do that, you are going to, once again, do the blending options, and then screen. Make sure you do these blending options, guys, it's very important. Um, then you're going to go to Filter again, Quartz Composer, Generator, and Defocus. Once you do that... Um, once again, these bars are going to pop up. Um, this is the last time, so don't worry. Um, so just try to copy mine. Blur, make sure that's zero. And I think that's a good density. Um, and then hit OK. Once you're done that, you're going to duplicate, um, that layer. Oopsie daisies. Duplicate. And then change your... Blending options to color dodge. Uh, after that, you're going to du go back to the small layer um, and duplicate that one now. So duplicate, and then you're going to go to uh, blending options and hit color dodge. Once you do that, you are going to drag the small circles copied layer 
all the way to the top. So make it the top layer. Okay. Once you're done that, you're going to make another new layer. Um, and then in this layer, you're going to change the blending options to overlay. Make sure you hit overlay. Very, very important. Um, then you're going to go to your gradient tool. Um, it may or may not look like this. Um, so double click that and you should have these gradients open up. Um, go to the rainbow one right here. Um, I'll just double click that. That's what happens. But you just need to click it once. And then you are going to drag a position from one side of the screen to the other side of the screen. Let go. And you should have a nice um, background such as the one I did. Um, and yeah, so that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, please rate, comment, subscribe. It really helps me a lot. And please give me a thumbs up. Um, if you like this video, I'd suggest going and checking out some of my other videos. Uh, if not, um, so be it. Doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.